Hello, Young Living family and friends. This is part two of the Master's Home uh, Evening Routine, which I wanna quickly show you uh, some of the products I use in the evening. Right off the bat, uh, usually if I'm gonna wind down for the evening, I wanna go ahead and get my makeup off, and I use this organic coconut oil. It's thick, and it melts onto your skin and removes even waterproof mascara. It's amazing. I usually cleanse uh, either with the Art a skincare system, which I left at the lake this weekend, so I don't have it to show you. Um, left it in my dad's uh, RV. But I also can use the satin facial scrub, which I love. You only need a tiny bit. It really spreads and tingles. It's amazing, and I love swapping with that. I also use this clay uh, to make my own mask. Great recipes out there. I'll post some of my recipes afterwards. Um, and then I use, I did have this Cher Lame. Uh, brightening cream for my age spots and freckles but I recycled the jar I need to go ahead and remove that with some lemon and, and put a label on it but I made my husband some aftershave it's amazing it's aloe vera gel witch hazel and some essential oils and it smells so good so anyways but guess what ladies that also serves as a toner for me so I can use the art skincare toner or I can use my own homemade recipe right there that my husband can use as aftershave as well. Uh, during dry season, um, I use the Animal Sense with a Q-tip in my nose area because I get really dry and cracked sometimes in that area or allergies or whatever the issue. I have a facial serum. I have a little steel roller ball. I, like, I prefer the steel over the plastic, but anyways, you can tell I'm getting close to needing to refill that again, and I can post the recipe for that as well because you're going to use the oils that are pertinent to you, and I can show you kind of how I made those decisions. Um, here's some of, um, like, one of the new recipes I just made a couple of days ago. I took castor oil, and I took lavender, rosemary, and cedar wood. And my husband had uh, helped me find these on Amazon. They're just little mascara wands. Now I have a super duper conditioning um, eyelash uh, system right here uh, that I can make my own to grow some healthy lashes. So I'm thrilled. I'm going to do some before and after and see how that worked out. Uh, I also have the Boswella Wrinkle Cream. Uh, if you haven't tried this, this is amazing. Your skin just soaks it up. You can see all those ingredients there. It's just packed full of good stuff. Um, the Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream. Again, I really, really, really like the Cher Lame. It was hard for me not to repurchase that, but I really wanted to see how my skin was with all the other Young Living products. And I gotta say, it's gonna be a toss. I'm just gonna have to alternate switching ER points or something because I really love the Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream. Uh, I really like that a lot. And then I went ahead and cashed in some points for some rose ointment as well. This is great. I wanted to show you what that looks like in there. It's really thick, kind of like the Animal Sense. Really thick, and I love putting that on my dry cracked lips. Oh, it's amazing. I also use just a lip balm like anyone else, usually during the day or night right before bedtime because I don't want to go to bed with dry lips. That's no fun. Here's some just cute roller balls. If you haven't got any, these are great. You can see that I've popped mine onto my frankincense roller ball. All of these oils, and I'll show you the recipes. Here's some of the main oils I keep just with my facial products, not with my normal oils that I use for every day. Uh, Helichrysum, myrrh, sacred frankincense, lemon, tangerine, manuka, patchouli, geranium. You'll see those in a lot of the recipes, and of course, frankincense. And I'll show you where I get those. Did I cover, let's see, the Essential Beauty Serum. This here is another just amazing product. And if you look back here at all the fatty oils and the essential oils that's in this, um, this is great to spot add to your face, you know, in certain places that you feel you need the extra support. Or you can add it to your creams as you're putting it on your face as recommended. And then I want to show you some of the stuff I'm using for my recipes, that witch hazel, grapeseed oil, fractionated coconut oil. I use a rosehip seed oil. I use a vitamin E oil. And then here's my body oils. I love the Cellulite Magic. And I add uh, additionally Cypress Citrus Fresh and grapefruit. I need the extra fat burning 
capacity there. And then this is my V6 oil that I'll also use when I, I just want to do something different, very plain, just all the fatty oils that your body needs. And then Orthosport for sore muscles. And then of course, Sensation smells amazing. Those are great for my body. Right now I'm in the orange challenge, trying to whiten my teeth with my Thieves mouthwash that is heavily diluted. I do not use mine full strength. I wouldn't say even maybe 50% mouthwash, 50% um, uh, filtered water, okay? And then I just wanna show you real quick, here's some more supplements that I use. The alkaline you just put in water, okay? It, to normalize your pH balance, the sulfur's on huge for hair and skin. If you want tight, firm skin, you're gonna need that sulfur's on. And then the multigreens and super C. These are all gonna feed your skin. If we care about our body and our face and how we look, that's a chewable tablet and those are capsules. I wanna show you real quickly. Um, let's see, pH balance. Right there, it talks about uh, excessive acidic pH in the body. The more acid that is in the blood and skin, the less therapeutic effect the oils will have. People have a negative reaction to essential oils are usually highly acidic. An alkaline balance must be maintained in the blood and the skin for the oils to work the best. Alkaline and multigreens are both helpful for balancing. And then I wanted to show you, if you look in your EO desk reference, there's some great recipes in here for skin rejuvenation. There's some for healing, there's some for wrinkles, there's some for regeneration, elasticity, premature aging of the skin, skin firming blend right here, three drops tangerine, three drops cypress. So that's why I keep these oils in my bathroom ready to be used at any time. Uh, and that's it really in a nutshell. I know that's a lot of products to go through, but this lasts me a long time because I'm honestly not using them all every night. I'm using most of them. Uh, and alternating them and it may be a week before I get back or two weeks before I get back to like a clay mask or something like that. So that's my routine. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some great ideas. Thanks so much.